Now I found a couple of these shelves outside and they're, they're pretty gross looking and I think I can turn them into something cooler. So I'm gonna blow them apart and turn them into a French cleat shelf. And you guys get to follow along today. So let's get over to the bench. Now, if you're anything like me, you've got scraps of wood squirreled away under every bench all over the workshop. So when I was thinking about this project, thinking, well, I need to make some core balls, I remembered that I had these really thick and kind of big, chunky, hardwood offcuts. If any of you are watching and recognize the grain structure of that wood and have any guesses as to what it might be, please leave a comment down below and tell me because I am not a wood guy and I was blown away about how hard this wood was. Now I get to take a break from the machines and show off my hand sanding skills. Right, well this is the part of the job that I absolutely hate. This is when I have to glue something. Now I don't know if you know but Kareen always calls glue my kryptonite. So luckily I'm wearing my Superman shirt today. I'm going to glue this thing up without getting glue on myself, without getting glue on the bench and hopefully having it stick together and we're going to do it in one try. Wish me luck.
so sorry I had to change the music. I was about to glue this and it was stressing me out a little. Now, I'm sure you're pretty excited to see how this is going to work, so let me show you. We've got the cleat here, and we've got a cleat on the wall, and that's as simple as those are. This French cleat system is amazingly ingenious. It allows me to kind of slide these shelves wherever I want, and I can put them at different heights if I want. I could put one up here. In fact, Richard whipped up this little shelf the other day, just a tiny version, and check that out. You can just hang it wherever. It's amazing. If you guys haven't checked out the video on how we built this wall, you should check that out. I'll put a link up here. And as a special sneak peek, I'm going to show you a little preemptive view of my next video. Boom! There it is. I know I'm super excited about this little build and I know that I've purposely shot it a little bit far away just to pique your interest. So I hope it encourages you to hit that subscribe button that's right over here, turn on the notifications bell so you never miss another episode. I can't wait to see you very soon where you never know what we're going to be building next.